one of the prophecy that made some people in, in overseas that shock people abroad you know all the while i was giving prophecies about different people i was giving prophecy i gave one of my first prophecy that went viral is when i gave them prophecy about election to be postponed in uh, that was either 2019 or so i said we we'll postpone it on the day of the election they will announce for another day when that prophecy happened people were like ah this man of god where is he and then i came to that of Imo state when i told Imo state that the sitting governor will be removed and replaced that one by the side then the one of all jews of carlo that they already concluded and locked him there. I told people, I said, April or May, he will be out of prison. When it happened, people were shocked. So the one that made international people to know that something is happening is when I told them, Nam the Kano will be coming to Nigeria and water enter Gari and Gari make potopoto and make nyama nyama. And I see a judgment taking place. That one shocked everybody. He made the evils that are outside the country. He said, this major prophet, in fact, we cannot doubt anything that he said. Now, let me tell you, when that one was happening, that he returned to Nigeria, people were calling, oh, man of God, does he, are they going to kill him? Is he going to be this? I was the prophet that told them nobody will kill him. Amen. Apart from that, another one that shocked them is a year before the judgment, I said, I see the matter finish in court. They will judge and they will say, this man, this charge acquitted. Go back to your house. But a higher authority from the presidency will come and say, keep him there, whether he like it or not. And I told them, I said, it is going to be, I quoted the month, October then. I said the month. When it happened, people from different countries, they now said, no, this man, now we know that God is with you. We now know that you are the major prophet. Major prophet, no be by mouth. Major prophet by the work that God has put in my hand. Somebody clap the heart for Jesus. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Do you know that only that you are in this church and under my administration or watching on the television there or wherever you are, only connecting with this altar, you are hearing my voice. Do you know that you are also a major prophet? Eh? So prophesy to your life. Say, I'm alive to my family, to my, family, to my, business, to my business, to my destiny, to my, to my career. Let there be turn around. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, let there be turn around. In every area of my life, let there be turn around. The sister that was giving testimony last, he said, I told her, I said, the compound you are living where they, there's no progress there. They will give you quick notice and you will pack out. But when they give you quick notice, nobody will trouble you there until you get another place and pack out. Prophecy on Sunday, the following day, Monday morning, they brought quick notice. <laughs> Somebody, I don't know the landlord though. Maybe you say, oh, major prophet now call the landlord. Oh yeah, give and quick notice. I don't know landlord. I don't even know the house. But I know God who knows the landlord. Amen. You don't need to allow yourself to be controlled by natural things. You are supernatural. You are not a natural human being. You are a supernatural. That's why the Bible says, if any man is in Christ, is a new creature, all things are passed away. You are a spiritual person. You are supernatural. Amen. You cannot be a supernatural and controlled by money. Say, oh, if you not bow, you not go take money. If you not bow, you not go eat. If you not bow, you will not be healthy. If you not bow, if you tell me if I don't, they came to Jesus. Oh, on that day, oh, we will arrest all your disciples. They arrested Peter, arrested John, start dragging them to prison. And Jesus got angry. He said, what's the problem? What's the matter? Why are you troubling my servant? Why are you troubling my, my disciples? And they say, your disciples never pay their task. We arrest you, but we just, we just respect you because you are, you, are, you are Jesus, the son of God. It is Peter. With him, we will arrest you. With him, we will deal with you. Jesus looked at them. Who created the money? 
God created heaven and earth. Who is written in the money? They say Caesar. Okay, give Caesar to Caesar. Peter, oh yeah, come. You see that water there? Go there. Put your hook. The fish you will get there, the mouth has money. Let your fish vomit money for you. I said, let your fish vomit money for you. Amen. He showed them supernatural. When the Peter came, he paid the thing. They said, ah, so when I get money like this, where you see all this money? Peter said, wait, because are you? It's called miracle money. You receive money. Amen. Receive money. Amen. Receive money. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The young man that came from Ghana on Wednesday, he came for counseling and he told me, he said, Major Prophet, I said, yes. He said, I have never seen this kind of miracle. I said, what happened? He said, after you prophesied and you told money, I should receive money. He said, when I went back to my hotel room, the alert I saw in my account up to now, I don't know how the money came. That's why I bring this envelope. A carry fat envelope. Come. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. See, I prophesy in your life. Before this year runs out, God will say to you. Amen. I say, God will set to expectation of your heart. Amen. There is a super turn around for you and your family. Amen. That's why you need to get closer to God. Don't let God be far. Adam saw God and ran away. Adam would have get closer to God. Can you hide your sin from God? No. Eh? no. Can you hide it from God? No. He knows you and knows your sin. And he will show you mercy. Amen. He will deliver you. Amen. He will liberate you. Amen. Adam ran away. And because he ran away, he missed the promised land. He missed the paradise. He was taken out of Garden of Eden because he was running away. Oh yeah, go now. Go. Go and suffer. Go and till the ground. Go and toil. Go and keep suffering all the days of your life. And the Bible says because of Adam, problem entered the world. Today, a lot of people are suffering because of what Adam did. But myself, I remove myself from Adam. <laughs> I remove myself from Adam. I enter Jesus. I enter Jesus. So I enter Jesus. I enter Jesus. I found mercy. I found mercy. In Christ, I found mercy. In Christ, I found love. In Christ, I found forgiveness of my sins. Put a hand for Jesus. Adam became the reason why every human being on the face of the earth keep on suffering, keep on crying, keep on struggling. But the moment you allow Jesus to get closer to you, hey, your family may have not seen a billionaire before. You will be the next billionaire. Amen. Your family may have not seen a prophet before. You will be the next prophet. Amen. You will prophesy. Amen. I say you will prophesy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever your family cannot be, your closeness with God will make your family to become. So, the house your father could not build, your closeness to God will make you to build times 10 of what your family have never seen. Amen. Lay your hand on your head. I prophesy upon your life. I Let that intimacy begin today. Amen. That relationship between you and God, let it begin today. Amen. Let that intimacy begin now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your life never ever remain the same again. Amen. It never ever remain the same again. Amen. Everything begin to turn around for your sake. Amen. In Jesus' powerful name, I pray for you. Amen. Let the light shine on your way. Amen. Closeness to God makes the light to shine. No wonder David said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. If David want to go to the market, everywhere is dark. The Bible says, gross darkness has covered the world. The world is covered with darkness. But if David want to go out, the word of God show him, this is the light, this is where to go, this is where to follow, this is what to do, this is how to go. Hey, stand there. He will stand. He said, look down. He will look down. He said, that is the silver and gold. And he said, thou teachest me how to war. When David is going to the battlefield, because of his closeness to God, God will say, David, as you are going to that war, look at where you are going to follow. Your enemy will be coming from here. Ambush them and finish them. And David will obey 
and the miracle begin to happen. Trust and obey. No other way to be happy in life but to trust and obey. Obey. Trust and obey. No other way to be happy in life but to trust and obey. Obey. Trust and obey. But there's no other way to be happy in life but to trust and anything you want to pay attention to, let it be the word of God. When the word of God has filled up, it makes, it makes what's called as hell and in hell. You have the word of God detoxify. The word of God cleans. The word of God purifies. The word of God enter even into your marrow, your bone. It goes straight from the bone to the marrow. It begins to take away. Oh, this was the causes. I said in the morning, I said, there are people, now listen, pay attention here. Pay attention. Somebody wake up. Wake up from your sleep. Who is sleeping there? Anybody sleeping, give a dirty slap there. Give the person dirty slap. Amen? Now listen, listen, listen. Some people's life, hey, pay attention, watch me. Some people's life are like magnet. Amen? Do you know what's called magnet? Some people call it a magneto. Magnet if you bring a magnet here, is the speaker has magnet. If you bring magnet, roll it on this floor. When you roll it in this compound finish, look at the magnet. You will see particles of iron filled up in that magnet. But you are not seeing the iron, but the iron is there. So the magnet, we know what is iron and magnetic. That is how the life of every human is. And this is why it's important that you get closer to God. Pay attention, pay attention. People's lives are like magnet. You enter into the market just to go and buy goods and come back. You don't know who you are buying from. There are people you buy only pure water. I want to buy water, bottle of water. Which one? Ever. Uh, Mr. V, anyone. They give you. You open the water and drink. Because of that water and who you buy it from and where it's coming from, you are spiritually contaminated. There are people, you travel to a village, you just shake them. I know of a man in my own, my own village. This man, if you drop us, the way the man will dress, he will put clothes like this. And like this. He will make sure that part of his body is revealing. If you pass, I say, <laughs> okay, man, this man, you don't enter trouble. You can start from where you are. They say, I'm waiting to worry you. Why is the mess everywhere? Until, if it is three days or four days, somebody who knows, he will not ask you, where did you go? When did this thing start? It started on Wednesday. Where did you went on Wednesday? I went to, to Sosto Village. Okay, that's okay, no problem. They will now go to the man. So carry you, go there, go beg the man. Before that, poo, poo, we stop. I'm not telling you a story. You can ask my mother, I will tell you. There are people only that you look at them. Why do you look at me? Why do they look at me? You don't enter trouble. You don't enter trouble. They call them epitome of wickedness. So, he 
it's not everywhere. Some people will say, ah, hungry, they catch me oh, since the morning, oh, I never chop. Madam, oh yeah, put rice. Uh, rice, uh, 100 naira. If I were two, uh, I were 15 naira, see. Put to pamon, put to uh, plantain. Only that food you eat, you are in trouble. In fact, let me tell you, since I stopped buying anything eatable anywhere, was when I stopped treating typhoid. Many of the food you go outside and buy is the reason why you are sick. 